What is up YouTube? CCG Fanatic back here again after a long, long time away. Um, yeah, lots of things have happened since then. I got married, I moved, um, <laughs> basically life got busy and um, didn't have time to buy, open, well, I still bought and opened a lot of cards, but I didn't have a lot of time to actually make a video out of it. So. Um, had some free time this morning. I'm actually waiting on a package in the mail for my new uh, iMac that's supposed to be coming in. So um, I have a little bit of time this morning, so I figured what the heck. I bought these cards and I <laughs> fell asleep without opening them last night. So I figured what the heck, let's go ahead and open them today. So I do not play uh, the Pokemon card game I used to when I was a kid, as you saw in one of my previous videos. But I did pick up the Pokemon XY uh game for the 3DS and have been playing a lot of it, so I thought it'd be fun to buy some cards corresponding with the game and just kind of see what I get. Since, you know, CCG fanatic, I do like buying cards and opening packs. So, I actually went ahead the other day and picked up four packs of these already, opened them up again off camera when I did not have time to actually open them up on camera. Um, a lot of, not a whole lot of anything, but I did get, um, along with the Pokemon Y game that I bought, when I was trying to decide between X and Y, um, I did end up getting this bad boy. So, I was kind of excited for that. Um, I was kind of disappointed on the on the foil. There's not a whole lot of foil to this guy. There's a bit of reflection in him, but not a lot. But, you know, maybe in this box we'll get a full art. Um, I don't know. We'll see. I did not buy the... Um, oh gosh, the the Elite Trainer box for the last set, and I pulled out the Super Secret Rare, or whatever it is, um, the Rare Candy, I think. Um, <laughs> I don't remember, it's been a while since I've opened it, so I'm hoping for another awesome Super Secret Rare, or something cool like that in here. So, actually, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video, because I don't need, to, need you to have to watch me open up the box. Um, so I will be right back. And we're back. It's the uh, plastic sleeving has been removed and I pulled out some of the cardboard. And here's what we are left with. We have a nice guide with all of the cards in it and various information about the box. Um, I'm not going to go ahead and go through that. It's kind of a big spoiler. I want to go through the cards first and kind of see what I get. So I'll sit that off to the side. And in these trainer boxes, you get a lot of stuff for the exact same amount of money as you would pay for a, a Magic Fat Pack. I'm pretty impressed. You get 8 packs, I guess compared to the Magic's 9 packs. But you get 45 energy, uh, 2 acrylic die, 6 damage counters, um, a legal competition coin flip die, I guess. Player's Guide, which we just saw. 65 card sleeves, which is nice to have a box of sleeves in here. Uh, four dividers, and then a collector's box to hold everything if you store them in here. I have a big box on the side with, uh, looks like 24 uh, sleeves of 200 cards a piece that can fit in it. So I think I don't need to use this, but these are still fun to, to have on the side as, as decoration and to store with the rest of my cards. So let's go ahead and open this guy up here. Get these couple sleeves out of here. And I kind of like how all these packs just sort of be, seem to be thrown in here with no real organization to them. Let's get it all out of here. So here we are. All of our energy, our 45 energy, which we don't need to go through. Our four Pokemon XY. Actually, hey, I got five. Was it five or four? Um, no, definitely four dividers. Woohoo, I got a free divider. Um, alright. The box of sleeves. These are actually pretty slick looking sleeves. I don't know how well they hold up to actual play, but they do look pretty nice. This is the side. The dice. And two damage counters. And I... I think there's supposed to be a flip coin in there. If not, maybe they treated me a sleeve for a flip coin. Well, that's alright. Like I said, I don't play much, so I don't know if I necessarily 
need one, and it's not hiding here in these packs. So, that is okay. At least I got all eight packs, right? <laughs> yep, all right. So let us begin with Pokemon XY card game packs. So, and of course, just like before, you have the three and two trick. So I'm going to go ahead and not spoil you with my online token card. And one, two, three, one, two. And here we go. As you saw an open of the pack. Since again, I don't haven't played a whole lot. I'm not sure on a lot of the, um, you know, like the types of energy and stuff. So I'm gonna be kind of dumb with that, but that's all right. We have a Skitty. Make sure I'm in focus here on the camera. A Venipine. A Zorua. A Weedle, and I apologize if I pronounced these wrong. Professor's letter. And a Frogadier. And an Inklay with a Reverse Hollow Rhyhorn, which is okay, it's a common, but that's alright. And a Rare Tauros, which actually I think I already got that one in my pack, so not the greatest for start, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and set the reverses off to the side. On to pack two. For pack two, we have a Hone Edge, a Pansier, a Skidoo, a Bidoof, a Pump Kaboo, a Shauna, a Fletchinder, and a Delcaddy. And for the reverse, we have a reverse Kakuna. Again, nothing exciting. And for the rare, we have a rare foil or hollow chestnut. So, oh, it's kind of funny. It seems like the chestnut, while the art's not quite as cool, has more foil to the card than the EX here. But that's okay. So we will throw him on the hollow pile and move on to pack three. So I have to admit that I do like playing um, Pokemon Y on my 3DS. I don't have a whole lot of chance to play it again because I've been so busy, but it is fun to sit down and play it. I just went ahead and signed up for um, Pokemon Bank after waiting for was that a month and a half until they finally got it released. Uh, haven't used it much, but um, I like that it's out there, and I will probably end up paying the five dollars per year, which is not bad at all to be able to store a bunch of Pokemon on there. So, moving on, we have a Phantom, a Swirlix, Energy, Oops. a Chespin, a Diglett, a Dodrio, a Soul Rock. A Lunatone and a Reverse Timber and a Rare the Barrel. So, not foil, but that's okay. Moving on. Three packs done, five to go. Okay. So we have a Bunnelby, a Froki, a Honedge, a Slugma, a Jigglypuff, a Dodrio, and a Max Revive, and a Professor Sycamore with a Reverse Dodrio. And a rare Grumpig, non non hollow. So 
we're down four and nothing exciting yet but that is okay it is always still fun to open packs anyway and with the extra sleeves and dice and box and everything else still makes it worth it oh knocking the camera over all right well we got some damage on one of these cards here in the corner hopefully this isn't a crazy awesome card two three because that's going to be our rare all right so for this one we have a lily pup an ekans a Talo, a diglet sandile an inklay a shadow circle. That's pretty cool. And a special energy. With a reverse Stoutland rare. So I do like these reverse cards. It's always, you know, if I had if I had more time and more money, I would love to make an entire set of reverse cards. The reverse hollows. Alright. And the rare, the damaged rare, is a crocodile. Crocodile. Um, non hollow, so that's okay. It's got a little bit of damage in the corner. So, alright, well, out of five packs, we have one, I think it was just one hollow foil. Man, last, last fat pack that I bought in the other set, I had one full art of something and a, uh, um, that's the secret rare, so to get a little something better out of here, but, you know, we'll see. Alright, so we have a Weedle, a Scatterbug, a Skidoo, a Voltorb, a Sandile, a Girder, with a Great Ball, a Ledian, <laughs> and a reverse Ledian. And the rare, there we go. It's not amazing, but a hollow Delphox. Actually, I was just looking for this as we go along. I have, um, she's the one that I'm playing with through uh, Pokemon Y. So I've always liked the, the fire guys and she seemed like the best one to me, so I picked her up. So I was hoping to get this. So that's that's exciting. I am I'm a little bit happier now. Still got two packs to go. Which I might still find an EX or a full art or something in there. But this is still awesome. I do like that. So. Alright. Moving on. Another Skitty, a Froakie, Energy, a Slugma, a Doduo, a Frogadier. Actually, I don't think I have with with Delphox. I have now her Stage Two and Stage and and the Basic, but I don't think I've gotten her Stage One yet. So, kind of hope that I can still get that with the last pack. So, the last uncommon is a Quilladin with a reverse Slurpuff, which is an awkward Pokemon when you play it. And the rare is another Barbaral, another non-hollow. That's all right. And last but not least, man, if I don't get anything good, that's Oh, looks like my camera stopped recording on me. Because um, that is another thing, as I dropped, or, or got rid of my old camera and replaced it with a newer SLR. So this is sort of a, a video test as well. Um, I wanted to bump up to 1080p recording, um, as well as all the other awesome stuff, obviously, that a DSL affords me. So we are learning as we go here. So on the last pack, let's get rid of the 
online code and do our three and two. Moving back here, we have a nether timber, a poniard, <laughs> however you pronounce that, a spoink, a Bidoof, a Rhyhorn, a Dunsparce, a Dewblade, and a Team Flare Grunt. Alright, and for the reverse, we have a reverse Bunnel Bee Common, and the rare is a Beedrill. Again, not foil. So, relatively disappointing fat pack, um, but, you know, I guess as I've said about th five times already, that's how it works. Um, you know, we have, um, we got the chestnut, and we got the Delphox. The rest of these are all just regular reverse hollows. So, eight packs, two of the hollow rares, and nothing awesome like this. But, you know, whatever. Um, I don't. I was trying to look to see if I had my other cards in the previous set. Pull those out to make this video a little bit more exciting at the end, but I don't. Oh well. Um, so, for now, that is all. I hope to maybe have some more cards <laughs> within the next three and a half years to get you another video. Um, so stay tuned. Stay subscribed if you are. Hopefully it alerts you for this video. And I will see you next time.